Hi guys, you won't believe what just happened. I recorded the video and, well, what I thought I did, and it didn't record anything. And I'm super upset about that because I did a really good job. I was talking, I was getting into the hink and everything. I was getting to the groove and I was like, yeah, I did it, paused it. Only thing it did was just take a picture. And I was like, really? So I didn't record anything. No. But thank goodness I have cue cards. So this is the first um, video of Let's Talk Crochet. And basically when I have like something to show y'all that's crochet related, I will do a video. Um, I'm going to sum everything up now. I'm going to talk about my project bags, how I organize all my printed patterns and how I'll store them and future projects that I want to do. So first up are the project bags. I got these cute little project bags at Michael's and they were 50% off. I'm hoping this week I'll run back up there again and see if they have any more because they're super cute and I could just throw these in my bag because normally I have plastic bags and I'll put my project bags in it and then I'll need the plastic bag for something else and I'll just dump it and just uh, use the plastic bag for something else and forget that I had a pattern in there and it just get all disorganized and I was like you know what I need to sit down write everything that I need to get organized to get back on track with these crochet orders so what I found is these little tote bags were 50% off and I think it was two dollars and fifty cents because it was five dollars and it was it's two fifty now and this was I think a dollar fifty so the cool thing about these is if, if I'm doing crochet earrings I will use these and look at the holes you could put your yarn through it. That's the first thing I seen. I was like, oh my gosh, they got holes in it. I can put my yarn through this and I don't have to worry about trying to find it or it gets all tangled up because it'll be right there. And I already have a project working on in this bag and it's a crochet tam. And everything that I'm talking about right now, I'll try to list it down below as far as the, the crochet projects you see me working on. I'll post a link for it down below. And inside this pouch is note keepers and scissors. So if I alter a pattern that I found online or wherever, I'll just post it up on here. And if I'm thinking about something, I'll just put it on here. If I'm thinking about like what should I cook tonight, I'll just jot it down so I won't forget or so I won't lose my count. <laughs> and sticky notes so if I use in my binder I'll just post a sticky note on it and just put it on to the pattern that I'm working on and I have a crochet hooks and some pens in it the next one I have I already finished it and this was a pattern on YouTube by the Crochet Geek and it's a summer hat, a V-stitch. This is for my mom. My mom wanted a summer hat so I have to make some more colors and with this pattern. I have to make some more because I have plenty of cotton yarn and I have enough to make another, another one. Another V stitch hat and in here I have the end hook that it requires. I love this end hook and I had got this when it was on sale at Joann's for 50% off. I like to catch uh, catch cells 
because I can buy something else because if it costs like $10 and it was 50% off that $5 that I would have used on whatever I'm buying I just pick up yarn or something else but lately I haven't bought yarn because the last time I bought yarn was in November and if I have to get yarn personal yarn I will not get it because I'm trying to not buy yarn for a year, personal yarn for a year, but it's so hard. But if it's not an order, I won't buy the yarn. So the last time I went yarn shopping was in November and I know the date because I think it was on Thanksgiving because while everybody else was doing Thanksgiving stuff or dinner, whatever the case may be, I was at Walmart trying to get yarn and it was super packed in there and no one wasn't in the yarn section and I was like so happy because the I love this yarn was on sale for two bucks and I was like I'm racking it up so I had got I think I was the only one there that got um one of those um them bins I had got a gray bin and I just filled it up with yarn and I was in and out and my husband was like that's all you got that's all you wanted was some yarn that's all we traveled for was yarn and he started laughing because he knew that I just had to get it and he was like oh I thought you was trying to get some big price item or something like that I was like nope I'm in and out just yarn the lady looked at me weird too but you know what I saved a whole bunch of money so yeah I have this sorry for getting sidetracked it but it's still crochet related because it's talking about yarn. And I have a pen in here too. So I, I have to go back and get more of this because you can just, I have a, I carry a bigger bag and I just throw this in here. I'm throw it in here or whatever bag I'm using and I don't have to worry about trying to transfer it from another plastic bag if I ripped it or whatever the case may be. The biggest bag that I got, um, I got that project bag for free because um, it was at Walmart and they couldn't find a price tag and they assumed that it was somebody else's bag because it was filthy. It, it wasn't filthy. It just had like a, a stain on it and I said, well, I just need it for my yarn and I have a washing machine so I can wash it and whatever price y'all just just trying to find a price and it was like no i think this was somebody else's bag they part the person probably you know switched switched out bags and left their bag here and i was like well hey i'll take it because i need it for my yarn and it's a nice little bag too because it's see and in the front i put my yarn i mean not my yarn i put the yarn needles that i need to sew in the yarns the tapestry needles I have the highlighter that I need to mark out my um, project. And what else I have in here? Oh, wait. I buy these a lot, right? So I used to throw the cans away because I didn't know what to do with the cans. But I found out that I can just put the tapestry needles in it. So I don't have to worry about you know finding one because I stay buying buying these things I stay buying these they're only like a dollar something but hey if you have these at home lying around not doing nothing just pop the little but uh, you can also put buttons for a project in here to throw in your project bags too whatever can fit in this you use it and they have larger ones too but I pay like 50 cent for these I think they were clearance I like to bargain shop and this is the cowboy blanket that I'm working on. And it's going to have a star and it's going to say cowboys. And I'm going to start doing, ten it's all single crochet. So, you know, single crochet takes a lot of time. So, I'm trying to do like 10 rows a day. And if I could do more, that would be great. So, once I'm finished this video, I'm going to start working on this while Elijah is asleep. And hubby's in there doing his thing and his and on his laptop and stuff. Um, he's trying to um, get all his emails and stuff like that organized because he has like a lot of mail 
and he's tired of looking at that little symbol that said you got like 4,000 messages so he's like deleting 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 so yeah also I have another big project bag and I got this for 99 cents at Ross so Ross and it's, you know they had to put that big sign in but I was like you know what it's cute I can just whatever I'm working on I can just put on the side and um, I'm thinking about punching holes in it and putting the snaps on it like how the person made this bag I'm thinking about doing it with this bag so if I'm working with different color yarn of yarn I can just thread them in there without you know trying to go inside the bag and find it where my yarn is at so I'm just get back or I'll just get a hole puncher and just do that way um the way how I store my crochet patterns now I have a lot of storage as far as laptops computers I have storage and I have a 32 gig that I carry around with me all the time for crochet patterns so if I'm at a friend's house and I'm using computers and I see a pro like a crochet pattern I have this and I can save it if I'm at the library and they have something I'll just either scan it and just save it up to here or I'll just print it out so that's that's a great thing to do also I can show y'all I think this thing died already oh. my tablet my battery is low my tablet and I have a whole bunch of crochet patterns on my tablet and some of them are free some of them are paid patterns and I hope y'all can see them but yep all my patterns are stored there I only watch like on this tablet I only watch my movies um do my crochet patterns and YouTube videos and whatever the case may be is, is on here I really don't do much on my tablet I just wanted a, I just wanted a tablet to uh store all my crochet projects and and watch the videos and that's it and it works fine and it's a Toshiba Thrive and I know that sounds super old but the great thing about this tablet is it has all the ports that I need so if I have a pattern on here just pop this in goes in I'm good a lot of um tablets don't have that and I had I can put this on a full HDMI cord so I love this thing I love it and hubby got that for me so thanks hubby if you're watching because he watched my it's so funny how my husband watched my YouTube videos and we live with each other and I thought I think it was so cute when he was like honey I watch your videos and I was like oh that is so cute you so weird but it's so funny but I still love you <laughs> I'm like you hear what I'm doing I don't know but it's 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 good to know that my hubby is is all for watching my videos. <laughs> um, so this I print out patterns too. So if I buy a pattern, the tip that I'm gonna give y'all: if you buy a pattern, print it out as soon as possible because you never know what can happen to your computer. You know, you can get a nasty virus and you could lose all your data. And then if you try to contact the person about the pattern especially if it's a pay pattern now that they're going to say look you got to buy it again and you'll be like really i just told you my sad story about how everything got corrupted and you're telling me that i have to buy your pattern again because sometimes uh when you download a pattern is sometimes they don't have unlimited downloading sometimes you download it once and that is it I found a couple of patterns like that. Like once you download it once, that is it. You can't. It don't have unlimited downloads because the person can choose how much time a person can download their pattern. So be be aware of that too. So I print out all of my paid patterns, and in this binder, I have sticky notes. I always have sticky notes. I never. Um, you never see me without sticky notes. And this are this is the teen and adult crochet patterns. And I have a binder in here simply because if I um, 
stumble on a pattern and I had to alter it a little bit I would just write write it in the binder and I, I mean write it inside my notebook and keep it moving or if I decide to write a pattern I write all my patterns in here and if I find any errors change it and type it up and print it out and store it in here also, I even keep the little books that I find at Walmart or Joann's, Michael's, whatever the case may be. But mainly Walmart because sometimes during like their holiday seasons, they have too many books, crochet books that no one will buy. And they'll sell it for like 50% off or, you know, hmm. Uh, they, they'll take a, like a dollar off or something like that. If the pair is like $5, sometimes you can get it for like $2.50. I got it for like two dollars and fifty cents, but now when I went to Walmart, I seen them for like four dollars. But just wait, just it's always good to wait around the holidays to buy yarn and um, crochet books. But I can't show y'all the rest of the patterns in here because I know some of them are paid patterns. So um, yeah, and if you ha um, and also I have this book in here too, and I list them as hats. Um, scarves and cows, um, clothes, um, hmm. I said clothes already, slippers and accessories. And that's how I have my book listed as. And another tip, if you have magazines and you know that sometimes you don't go through all the magazines and you find like a favorite pattern that you really want to do, but you really don't have time for it, but you really, really, really love it print it out store it because I tend to buy a, a mag I used like I would say two years ago when I used to buy crochet magazines I uh, forget what issue and what uh, crochet book or magazine it was in and I have I sit there wrecking my mind trying to figure out what book is what and I say, you know what, forget that. I'm going to start printing them out and storing it. And that's what I did with this one. Um, I printed it out and stored it. And now I don't have to worry about saying, oh my gosh, it was this favorite pattern that I don't know what book it was in. But I wanted to, I'm ready to crochet it now. And then you'll spend like hours of trying to look for it and you don't want to make it no more. So I'll say print it out, get a separate binder if you have to and say favorite magazine crocheted patterns and you'd be good to go this one right here is crochet graphs and written patterns um i found some amazing um graph patterns that are paid for and i'll post her link below then i'm working with the cowboys now and I, it's by yarn love affair so if you go to yarnloveaffair.com she has some amazing patterns she takes her time to write it out and everything and is well written and if you feel as though that you don't want to buy patterns and you want to do it yourself you can also buy um a software called pc stitch and i'll post a link down below and if i can find the code where so you can get it for like 20 dollars, i'll post that up but if i don't do it right away please 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 it will be down in the description box i would say within a week um but yeah it is a pretty cute software you can play around with it you know because it is is a software and if you try to like jump right on in you'll get lost so if you just sit there one day and look at the little you know stuff that they have on there you you will get a nice little pattern and stuff like that out of that software and if you want the written, um, how to write a written pattern out from the picture, it's a, I think it's called Stitchboard. Stitchboard.com, where though you can get a picture online and you upload the graph and you, it, you'll have, you have to wait and then it'll show you like what colors to use and it will give you the written pattern for that graph too or for that picture so yeah and this is the baby's ones and again got that from walmart and i keep these little books in there because 
I think it's much easier for me to find them versus trying to look in my library and try to I think everything in the binder is great for me because I don't really buy crochet books and when I do it's kind of like the small crochet books um yeah some of these, the patterns that I have here is hats booties blankets clothes toys and accessory and most of these aren't free patterns mostly all my free patterns that I get online is on my tablet or on my iPod the pay patterns, I, I, it's a must for me to print them out just in case. And this is crochet for the home, and it's not that big because I don't have a lot of stuff that you know that I would, that I, I have a big binder downstairs that I have to organize too because it's like this thick and is it has everything in it from the time when a lot of people wasn't using YouTube and stuff like that for crochet or not YouTube, um, sites, like it's so many old sites that's not, probably the link probably don't even work anymore. And that's my first binder that I um, had. So I have to like sit there and really go through them. And if I have to reprint them out, I'll probably reprint them out. But yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will try my best to do a video every week. As far as the crochet tutorials, I'm going to try my best to try to do crochet tutorials. But the thing about crochet tutorials is like the editing process is like a pain. And when I say pain, it's a pain because you'll, the behind, I, I should say the behind scenes, like the baby crying or I have to cook dinner or you know a lot of that stuff don't get filmed or it does get filmed and you have to edit it out it's just so much and phone ringing look if I do a video I do a video if I don't I'm so sorry but I think I'm gonna do like mini tutorials like more um focus on like crochet baby items like um some more preemie hats in different sizes because I get a lot of um emails about the preemie um hat parent that i have online and i'll talk about that another time and yeah thanks so much for hanging in there for this video sorry if it's too long but i really did enjoy talking and you know sharing some of the stuff that you know maybe a lot of people didn't have an idea of how to get organized and that's one of the ways i get organized and yeah Thank you so much. I don't know how many times I said thank you, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you didn't sub, sub. If you don't, hey, thank you for stopping by. Peace, love, and happy crocheting. God bless. Bye.